Hi, I'm Adam Haney with the Adam Haney Home Loan Team, proudly representing the Newport Beach Police Association and the Newport Beach Marine 1-1 Foundation. Our company, Home Point Financial, has sponsored these organizations' annual fundraiser golf tournament coming up in September and more on that later. But today what I wanted to do was just recap for you some of the highlights from the semi-annual Chapman University economic forecast that recently took place on June 21st. Now, as always, the Chapman forecast starts out with a broad overview of the national economy and then takes a more detailed look at both the California and Orange County economies. And that's what I wanted to share with you to see how that might affect your real estate business in the coming months. On a national level, of particular note is the Federal Reserve's plan to unwind its balance sheet or asset bubble. In an effort to keep interest rates low, the Federal Reserve has, a, has had a program of repurchasing mortgage-backed securities. So basically, every time a mortgage was paid off, they would repurchase more mortgage-backed securities. And that sort of created an artificial demand in the mortgage market, which again, led to lower rates and helped home affordability. The problem is that moving forward, as the Fed plans to purchase less of these mortgage-backed securities, it could have an updraft on interest rates and therefore start to affect home affordability as well. On a separate but related note, the Fed did raise the short-term rates by a quarter of a percent at the June 15th meeting. And finally, the Chapman Committee noted that in order for the President to achieve his goal of a 3% GDP, the only likely way for that to happen is if he's able to get some really meaningful tax reform. Now on a state level, California's job machine has slowed. For the last several quarters, California has outpaced the nation's payroll growth by about 1%. However, a disproportionate amount of that payroll growth was focused around the Silicon Valley, thereby making perhaps the rest of the state look a little bit stronger than it really was. In the meantime, there are other technology and information hubs around the country in places like Seattle, Salt Lake City, Palm Beach, and Raleigh that also are vying for these jobs and have much more affordable housing than the Silicon Valley. At the same time, we've seen a net migration of approximately 625,000 people moving out of California to places like Texas since 2007. As the Chapman University forecast turned its attention to Orange County, the prospects for growth look fairly dim. Now granted, Orange County probably has one of the best unemployment rates in the country of about 3.2%, but much of this is driven by construction, which has slowed in the recent months and years. So what does all this mean for Orange County real estate? Well, simply put, it's hard to see continued price increases in a softening economy with rising interest rates. From an affordability standpoint, when we look at the ratio of median family home price compared to median family income, that number on a national level is about 3.3. For California, it's 5.8. And for Orange County, it's 8.3. And what's somewhat concerning about this ratio is that it's starting to approach the levels that we saw prior to the real estate bubble in 2007. However, from a lender standpoint, what's different about it this time is that the borrowers who are qualifying for loans these days truly are demonstrating an ability to qualify and repay these loans. And therefore, the housing market, in my opinion, is not a house of cards. Now, finally, the Chapman University forecast did end on a high note as far as predicting a 6.2% rate of appreciation in 2017 for Orange County home prices. But watch out for 2018 and advise your clients accordingly. As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me or share this information with your clients. I'm Adam Haney and I love working with the families to help accomplish their real estate goals.